Hey, what is up everyone? So season 12 of Steve Thieves has been out for a while now, and in this video, I really just want to go over my thoughts now that we've had this new season and all these new features out for a while. So season 12 is a better update than we've had in the past, but it's not an update that's, you know, like a big temple feature. It's not like we're getting, you know, new set of tall tales or new like PVP mode or something like that. It's not one of those seasons. It's really a season where it's a bunch of small features all brought together in one package. And that can be good. We've had great updates like that in the past with stuff like season five. That was a great update. And this season, I think overall is a great update. Um, there's a few things that I'm, you know, a little bit disappointed by. Other things that I think are, you know, either lived up to the expectation or went above the expectation. So in this video, I just want to talk about all my thoughts with this. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the new weapons because that's like the biggest thing that's top of mind to me. So we got two new like weapons that are like permanent item slots. This is the first time we've seen this ever in the game, really. When the game launched, we had the four ones that we're used to, the Cutlass, the Eye of Reach, Blunderbust, Flintlock, all of those were great. But, you know, over time those got a little bit stale, we had like the double gunning meta and stuff, and, you know, we needed something to spice that up, and that I think was the thing I was most excited for with Season 12, and it's really just spicing up the meta of the game. So with the new season we got the double barrel pistol and the throwing knives. I think if y'all remember when we had the preview event as well as just when the season first launched, I was very excited about the double barrel pistol because outside of the cutlass, my favorite weapon in the game is the current flintlock, which also is, you know, a pistol. Just, you know, those can be interchangeable, honestly. So the double barrel pistol I thought would be really awesome to have and I hoped that it would basically be a good counter to something like the blunderbuss because it basically rapid fire two shots quickly. In actuality though, I have found I haven't really liked using the double barrel pistol. I find it's a little bit clunky to use. I don't really like the animation. Like I'll, I'll have times where I'm trying like to charge up a double shot and just like not charging or like weird things like that. And it's made it difficult to use in combat. These things I think can be addressed over time but in its current form, I just don't really enjoy using it at all. On the flip side, we have the throwing knives. Now, I really like the throwing knives. I haven't really used them too much for a PvP aspect, but in terms of using just for the PvE stuff, like, you know, fighting phantoms or skeletons or whatever, it is very satisfying to use. I think the versatility of this weapon makes it a real big standout. So you can use it in melee combat, so you can, you know, you know, jab it at someone or do a, a heavy slash at them. Or what's really satisfying is when you throw the knife and then you take out your opponent that way. That's really cool to do. And then even if you miss that shot, you can still pick up the knife, um, which is also really interesting. I, I also find the way that they handle the knives, I think is really cool. So I did a little bit of testing with it, so you can like throw the knives down and like, kind of see how long they persist. And I did stuff where like I would throw it on the mast of my ship, and then I would dive down and go do a voyage somewhere, and they would still be persistent on the ship there. I never, I didn't test how long they last, but it seemed to stay for a good amount of time. So I just think that's really cool that they were able to get those physics to work that way. The one thing that I do find hard is I keep going back to the original weapons. I think it's just maybe because it's more of a learning curve right now. So it's like, if, it, if it's a situation that I don't really want to risk, you know, messing up or anything, I kind of want to go back to the stuff that I know. But I do think the throwing knives will be something that I start incorporating more as I get to play more of the season and just going forward. The one thing I would say about the throwing knives is that while the heavy attack and throwing the knives feels very satisfying, the jabbing does not feel satisfying at all. I think the problem with it is it does such little damage, while at the same time you're able to be like hit with a sword or something. So like if I'm going to fight a skeleton and it has a sword, it's just, you know, slashing at me while I'm trying to do a little jab. And it's like, it's almost like it needs to be able to like hit off an attack with the jab or something. I don't know what they could do to make that feel better. 
I don't think the damage should be increased just because I think it does need to be balanced with stuff like the sword. But it does just feel a little bit disappointing. I think if you are going to use it for melee, trying to do a heavy attack is the way to go. Another thing with the weapons that, and I think this is a bigger issue with Season 12, just specifically with the launch, I think they can make up for it with the monthly updates. There's just such a limited amount of cosmetics for the game with Season 12, and it's very disappointing. So with the, both the double barrel pistol and the throwing knives, in terms of what you can buy in-game with gold, there's only three weapon skins for each of them. And that is at least something, but it's very disappointing. And I think the biggest issue to me is, they all look pretty bad. They look very crappy, and they don't have to be. Like, I get they want to push you to doing the Pirate Emporium weapon skins and stuff, and which is what I've been using for the throwing knives. I did that before you buy a video on it, and I've been using the Lodestar one every time I've used it, because I really like that one. But with that said, there's tons of cosmetic sets that are free in the game that you can earn with gold and stuff that they could have made weapon skins for and made them actually look good, and they just didn't. I'd also like to see like the Pirate Legend like weapons and stuff, like the Dark Adventure set, get a double barrel pistol and throwing knives variant and stuff like that. So I think this can be expanded going forward, but it's just very disappointing. And I believe if I'm correct, one of them is walk behind accommodations, and even the one that's like you have to do a bunch of accommodations to unlock still looks pretty ugly. I saw someone post about it on Twitter talking about like that they finished it all. It was kind of disappointing just to see like what the actual reward is for doing all the accommodations. So I think they could have done a lot better job with these weapon skins. But again, I think those can be expanded through monthly updates. So next we have the new throwable, which is the bone crawler, and I haven't got to use this too much. I found that it is a lot more rare than I expected it to be. So I would go into like skeleton forts and stuff, and I'd try to just basically look for them in all the barrels, and like I could maybe find one at the most. So I wasn't expecting it to be as rare as it is, which on the one hand I think it actually might be a good thing so that people aren't just spam throwing them down repeatedly. But on the other side, it's like if I want to test with it and see like how it works and stuff, I haven't really had too many opportunities to do that so far. When I have used them, I think they're really cool. I think the fact that you can do it both on your ship or on an enemy ship is really awesome. I was in an encounter when I was fighting a galleon and they used the cannon to shoot over the bone collar and then it spawned them on my ship so I had to take time to fight them. So it's a really useful throwable if you time it right. They also last for a pretty long time unless, you know, they're defeated by the opponent player. Another thing that you can shoot out of the cannon is the new scatter shot, and I am really liking the scatter shot. I think it is a nice different type of cannonball to have in our arsenal, whereas like we had like the chain shot that's good for mass and stuff. This is really good when you're up close. And I think it helps allow you to be more strategic with how you take down ships what kind of cannonballs are you using? It really just enhances the ship combat because I think updates like we've had with the chain shot and then the cursed cannonballs, those have been things that have really helped go another level with the ship combat in the game. And I think this brings it up another level as well. And I'm hoping that we see more expansions to ship combat in the future because I think this is great. But something else that has also helped with ship combat and just in general with the game is the harpoon tight ropes. I really am enjoying the tight roping on the harpoon. This is one of the things I was really looking forward to, and while I haven't got to use it for boarding, I have seen someone try to use it to board me, and then I was able to shoot them down with it. I think it's been a really cool addition to the game. I'm really enjoying, you know, using it to, you know, walk across to go like quickly take treasure back to my ship and everything. That's been really useful. I'm, I'm just excited to see like the possibilities with it going forward honestly. The last thing for your ship is the Horn of Fair Winds. This out of everything is the only thing I haven't gotten to try out because when I've gone to the Sunken Kingdom I've done a few different treasuries and it hasn't been there any time I've gone so I don't know if it's that it doesn't spawn when you do a raid voyage 
or if it's just a, like a rare thing, kind of like the bone crawler, so it only shows up sometimes. But either way, I haven't seen this at all yet. I think this is really cool, but you know, I don't really have much to add to it since I haven't got to actually try it in the game yet. The last main thing that was added with season 12 is zip lines. I think these are really cool, but honestly, haven't really had much use for them yet. I think the best one that I've used is that Ancient Spire outpost, where when you spawn in at the tavern, you can just go on a zipline straight down to the dock. That's really nice to have. Um, and I really think the only real benefit of it is if you're carrying treasure or something, because then you can use it on the zipline. But otherwise, most of the time when there is a zipline I can use, it's almost easier for me to just sword lunge down. Like an Ancient Spire, I could just sword lunge down and get to my ship either just as fast or faster. That's not to say that I, you know, I'm against the zip lines, I'm just saying that it's hard for me to justify using them when there's sometimes faster ways for me to get to the thing I want to get to. Speaking a little bit about the free pass, since I already talked about the Plenter Pass in my Before You Buy video, there's some really cool cosmetics this time around. I wasn't too impressed with some of the past free passes that we've had in the game, but this time we've had stuff like the gold spinner wheel, which I think is just really cool having it kind of almost looked angled in the sense because it has like the board that's like kind of making it look a little lopsided. That's really cool. Other stuff like the famous pirate eye patch I think is another one that looks really cool. I think that would go well with like a flame heart type of look if you're trying to go for something like that. I think that would go really well with some of those cosmetics we got in the past. At level 36 you get the famed Bunkadeer scar. I really like that scar. I think that looks really cool. It goes really well with stuff like the gold curse. I've been combining those two cosmetics a lot this season just to see that look and I think that looks really great. I also think it's cool that we got, I think this might be our first trinket that we've gotten in the season pass with the Wild Rose music box. I think that's really cool. I haven't unlocked that one yet, but I'm excited to. I'm hoping that it plays music. Because if it doesn't play music, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. But if it does play music, I think that's pretty cool. Another one that I think is really awesome for this free pass, which I'm surprised they actually put in the free pass. It almost is good enough to be in the Plunder Pass, honestly, or the Pirate Emporium. And that's the Headless Horseman figurehead. I could see that being like the basic version of the figurehead for like a premium set. So I think that's really cool that we got in the free pass just, you know, as part of it. So I'm really excited for that. Outside of those ones, there's not too much else that I'm like too excited for. I think the famous pirate jacket is also pretty nice looking. I just don't know how often I'd use that one. And the only thing that I would say is a real disappointment with the pass is that the level 100 reward is just Grey Mirror's boots, which their their boots are fine looking, but for one, I don't really get how that's a Pirate Legend reward. I also just, you know, don't see them as being that great of a cosmetic. So especially for having it as a level 100, it just seems a bit disappointing. But if that's really the only disappointment for this pass, then I think they did pretty good with this season. Other than that, I'm enjoying this new season, but the main problem that I'm having with season 12 and it's the same problem i've had with the past few seasons is that there's not really anything new for me to do now i get it we have all of this great stuff in terms of you know the new items to use the new weapons and everything but what do you actually do with them in the game trust me i i, I hear the commentary right now and i i am on the same side of you know this really changes up the meta I mentioned that earlier that I'm excited about how this changes all of that. And I think that's all great. The thing for me is I wish we had something like a new type of sea fort. So like we had like the sea forts and the sign treasuries and stuff. Those were great updates. Can we get something like that again? Something else that's like repeatable, you know, fast and easy to do. I, we just need something new. And because it's, it's been since season six since we got something like that. So that's been a pretty long time and I think the game really needs something along those lines. But other than that, I think season 12 has been really great. I'm enjoying everything that has been added so far, and I'm just looking forward to, you know, trying them out more and, and just seeing what cool scenarios happen because of these new th items that are added to the game. But that's my thoughts on just the first couple weeks of season 12. I'd love to hear what y'all think. What are y'all's initial impressions of the season? 
What so far is your favorite new feature added in Season 12? Let me know all that in the comments below, but if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if the like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, y'all.